we've got some materials on our, our tables here, uh, mostly balloons and straws. Each of them have a balloon filled up at a different amount. Now, what can you tell me about the balloon itself? What, what type of balloon is it? It's a long, thin balloon. Long, skinny balloon. Are all three of them the long, skinny variety? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And uh, I've already pointed out that they're blown up at different uh, amounts. Now, what if I said to you that we were going to release the air in these balloons and use it like a rocket, and you want to find out how far that rocket's going to go? It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Very good. Good response, yes. And which balloon do you think will go the furthest? Phil's. You think Phil's will go the furthest? And why do you say that, Amanda? Because he has more air in his. Because he has more air. So you think if we just release it, psh, it'll go further? All right. Well, we're going to formalize this a little bit and set up a, a little uh, more exacting of a test. See that monofilament line? What we're going to do is we're going to uh, mount the balloon rocket onto that monofilament line. You'll see that each of these has a straw attached to it. We'll mount it on the monofilament line, we'll release it, whoop, like this, and we'll test to see how far along the string it travels. But before we do that, let's explore this a little bit further. Maybe since his has so much air in it that his might be um, maybe heavier or maybe way more. Ah, and, and what uh, is going to take, what are we going to experience then? When we hang it on the string, what's going to happen? It's going to make the string go down so that once it lets out air, it can't go as far. Yeah, friction might enter into the equation. So one of the challenges about experiments is to set experiments up in such a way that we are able to control certain variables and watch certain experimental factors. Now, what are some of the controls in this experiment? What, what's constant or the same in each of these cases? The string. The string will be the same right here. OK, so we'll all use the same string. What else? The straw. Uh, the straw. Is the straw the same in all cases? Okay. And is the straw attached the same pretty much in all cases? They all have a little pointy thing at the very end. They all have some sort of little pointy thing, which is the leftover balloon, uh, some longer than others. So now, tell me, is that length a control or is that a variable now? What I would like you to do is another important scientific uh, process, which is to make a prediction. We've now had a conversation about the amount of air, the size of the balloon. We've talked about friction and what effect that might have. We're going to string them on this string and let them go one at a time. And I would like you to predict which balloon you think will go the furthest shooting along this string. One, two, three. One, two, three. In a classroom setting, the suggestion would be to Work this in such a way that each individual team of kids, three or four kids working together, control all the variables for their one group, and then identify different things to test in the different groups. You guys can come on up. We'll just line up over here and get ready to do this.